What is going on everyone? Chris Vincelli here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the YouTube channel that discusses personal development and finances and everyday life experiences. And in today's video, I'm going to discuss that age old question to live with a roommate or to live alone. Now I myself have lived with roommates in the past, but I have mainly lived alone. So when thinking about whether to live with a roommate or to live by yourself, I speak from experience. I know what I'm talking about. I know some of the things you need to take into consideration when thinking about whether to live alone or with a roommate. So in this video, I'm going to dive into the seven things you need to consider when you're deciding whether to live with a roommate or not. And I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to dive into those seven things right now. Okay. So the first thing to take into consideration are the costs involved, you know, your personal finances and what you would be paying if you lived alone versus living with a roommate. Typically with a roommate, you're splitting your living costs down the middle. Usually that's how it works. So if you're on a budget and you want to minimize your cost of living, your living costs, if you want to minimize what you pay on things like, you know, your rent, the electrical bill, the internet bill as well, you can probably live with a roommate and try to split those costs with them. That's typically how it works. So if you're trying to minimize costs, if you're on a budget, if you're not earning a lot of money and need to save every penny, or if you just have some really big ambitious savings goals and you want to have most of your money and most of your income go towards savings and investing and minimize what you spend on things like living, well then okay, living with a roommate might help you in that area because you're gonna be splitting your costs down the middle. However, if you do have some more wiggle room in your personal finances, if you don't care so much about minimizing your cost of living, or if you're able to find a one bedroom or studio apartment for a really good deal for a really low price, living with a roommate might not be necessary at that point if you wanna to try to minimize your costs. So yeah, one of the things you do wanna think about is the cost of living, looking at your personal finances, looking at what your budget allows for you to do and for you to spend on. And that might give you a good idea as to whether living with a roommate might be more cost effective or if you actually do have a bit more freedom to live by yourself. The second thing you might want to consider is how important is making friends to you? Look, clearly if you're moving to a brand new city and you don't know anybody, having a roommate in your apartment, is kind of like having your first friend right off the bat, you're getting to know somebody and you might be able to become friends with them and with time become friends with their friends. So particularly if you're moving to a new environment, to a new area or to a new city and you don't know anyone there, having a roommate might be a good idea if you're looking to make some friends. It is a way to expand and to grow your social circle when you basically have no circle of friends. So having a roommate is a good way to make an instant friend. On the other hand, if you don't necessarily need to make new friends or if you're just naturally outgoing and sociable and are able to make friends in other ways, like by going out or through work, and you don't see having a roommate as a necessity for making friends, then even if you're moving to a new area, you might not necessarily need to have a roommate to make friends. You're just naturally outgoing. You're just naturally personable and you could probably make friends in other ways. And of course, if you're not moving to somewhere new, if you're just moving to a different apartment in the same neighborhood, then yeah, you might not need to make any friends because you already know the area and have your circle of friends already established. All right, and the third thing to take into consideration when you're thinking about living alone versus living with a roommate is the level of personal freedom that you want and that you desire in your living space. For example, when living with a roommate, you might have to be a little bit more considerate if you want to have friends over or if you want to have family stay over as well. If you want to play music or watch a particular movie at any given time of the day or night, well, if you're living with someone, you might have to be a little bit more considerate about how and when you do that. Will your roommate mind if you have family come visit and stay over? Will they care if you happen to have a party in the apartment with your friends? Does it matter if you're playing music till one or two o'clock in the morning or if you're watching a movie in your common space? These might be things you have to take into consideration when living with someone. Obviously, this depends on the person you're rooming with. Some people do not care about how you live your life. Others are a little bit more particular about how and when you have people over or how loud you might be when playing music or watching TV. On the other hand, if you're living by yourself, you have all the freedom in the world to 
do whatever you want, live however you want. So long as you're not disturbing your neighbors, you can pretty much do whatever you want in your home or apartment. So uh, if you want that freedom, if that's necessary for you, maybe living alone might be a good idea. Okay, and the fourth thing you wanna take into consideration is the level of privacy that you would want in your living space. Let's be honest, unless you and your roommate are really close, you're probably not gonna feel comfortable walking around your apartment naked or in your underwear. That's just not gonna happen unless you guys are really, really close. So you don't have a lot of private space when living with someone. Aside from you know your respective bedrooms, your common area, you know your living room, or your dining room just won't offer you the privacy that you might want. So if you're the type of person who likes to go home and enjoy their privacy, living with a roommate might not be the best idea. Living by yourself might offer you that privacy that you're looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna dive into the fifth thing you need to consider. But before I do so, I wanna let you know that whether you've seen my content before or if this is the first time you're viewing one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I come out with other great and similar content. And if you're liking this video so far, go ahead and smash that like button. YouTube really likes it when people like my videos. It helps with the algorithm. So please go ahead and smash that like button. And by the way, I'm also on Instagram, so feel free to follow me there as well. Okay, so the fifth thing you need to consider is responsibility. If you're living with a roommate, you need to consider who is responsible for what. For example, are both of you responsible for cleaning the apartment, you know, for mopping and for vacuuming the floors? Are both of you responsible for cleaning the dishes? What does that responsibility look like? Who is on the hook to do what? At the same time, you also need to consider who's paying for what. The electricity bill, the water bill, the internet bill. Are you guys gonna split it down the middle? Is someone paying for one thing and then the other person takes care of the other thing? Who is gonna pay for what? These are things you need to consider when you live with a roommate. On the other hand, if you're living by yourself, I mean, there's no discussion to be had, you're responsible for everything, which can make things simpler. You know, it means that you don't have to decide who is doing what, but it could also mean that you're doing more things. If you need to vacuum and mop the floors, if you need to clean the dishes, if you need to pay the bills, well, that's all on you. You're not splitting that responsibility with anyone. So definitely be sure to consider your level of responsibility if you're deciding between living with a roommate versus living alone. All right, so just a couple more things you wanna consider here, but the sixth thing you wanna have in mind is your ability to share your personal space. How easy is it for you to share personal space with somebody else? For example, are you okay with not decorating your apartment exactly the way you want? Are you okay with sharing your decor with somebody else? At the same time, how easy is it for you to share things like your fridge or your bathroom? Are you able to share that personal space? Can you respect what other people bring into your home? This is something you wanna consider if you're living with somebody because chances are you're not gonna be able to customize your living space the way you want. You have to share your living space with somebody else and they're gonna bring their stuff, you're gonna bring your stuff, they're gonna have their food, you're gonna have your food, you might even have to share your bathroom. So. Take into consideration how easy is it for you to share your personal space. Of course, if you're living by yourself, you can install whatever you want to install in your home. You can decorate it the way you want. Your fridge is completely yours. You don't have to share bathroom time either. That space is all yours. So you want to think about how easy is it for you to share that space. If you're the type of person who wants that space to themselves, well, it might be a good idea to live by yourself. If you don't mind sharing personal space and if you're comfortable sharing it with other people, then maybe living with a roommate is okay. Okay, the seventh and final thing you need to consider when deciding between living with a roommate versus living alone is how good are you at conflict resolution? Chances are some sort of conflict might arise if you're living with somebody. For example, your roommate might not clean the dishes one day or they might have friends over pretty frequently and it might become a nuisance to you. How are you in dealing with these issues? Can you work with someone if you have a disagreement over something? Or do you take the my way or the highway type of approach? This is obviously something that you need to think about. How comfortable are you in working through conflicts with somebody? Do you even wanna bother working through these issues? Would you rather just live by yourself and not have to deal with whatever your roommate might bring to the table? Conflict resolution is definitely something you're gonna probably encounter if you are living with somebody. You will need to learn how to resolve even the smallest issues. So think about that as you're deciding whether to live with a roommate or to live by yourself. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like I said earlier, I have lived with roommates in the past, but I've mostly lived by myself. 
For those of you who have lived with roommates, what have your experiences been? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear about your experiences. And for those of you who live alone, why have you chosen to live alone? Did you not want to deal with whatever your roommate might bring to the table? I would love to hear what you guys are thinking. And like I mentioned earlier, whether you've seen my content before or if this is the first time viewing one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I come out with other great and similar content. And if you liked the video, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps me understand what type of content I should keep putting out there. Oh yeah, by the way, like I said, I'm also on Instagram, so feel free to follow me there. Thanks everyone. Talk soon.